Start recording. That way I don't miss any of this golden footage. Oh, fucks my controller. And this is how I started my last stream, too. No, that was during the one second. Anyways, yeah, so we're playing uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, what he said. Uh, the reason I'm playing this is because I want to get like moderately decent at this game because I'm going to be ordering the Japanese version at some point. <laughs> Mid. Okay. <laughs> but um uh, I want to I want to get familiar with this because I'm going to be ordering the Japanese version at some point just because the Japanese version features a DLC item that was not available in the West. It is a sword that every time you swing it, Solid Snake gives words of wisdom. And I just want to show it off, but you know, I'm not that good at the game. And this is one of those ones that requires what's the what's the word they call it? Skill. I believe. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it requires fingers. <laughs> uh, do I have any of the DLC? I don't remember. I should. So, Chan, they're getting exclusive deals. All right, yeah, I've got, got the Cyborg Ninja, I've got Blade Wolf, and I've got Jetstream Sam. I don't know if I have them on my computer at the time, or on my Xbox at this time. They are free? Yeah. I know they're free for the PS3. I think you still have to pay for them for Microsoft. I don't know. I'll check that in just a second. I have the major ones, though. I've got the Cyborg Ninja because Gray Fox and his sword. Um... And I've got the two DLCs, like Jet Stream Stam and Blade Wolf. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't have any of the other ones, I think. Checking for downloaded content. Yeah, Microsoft, you still gotta pay for it. <laughs> Silver Fox? No, Gray Fox. But yeah, um, but yeah, the version of the, uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Good stream. Sam is Brazilian. I've never noticed. Uh, <laughs> Dick Fox? No, no, Gray Fox. Alright. Um, what was I gonna say? I merely forgot. The version of the Japanese one I'm buying is a complete one, so I can get all the DLC on a disc, which as far as I know was... I don't think they ever released anything like that for the, for the uh, US versions. I could be wrong. But yeah, the sword is a part of the VR missions uh, expansion pack for the Japanese version. It is not available in the English version. I'm guessing because... Who does Solid Snake's uh, voice acting? I don't remember. <laughs> Gray Chicken. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't really need to know the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. Grey Wolf? Did I say Grey Wolf? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Our story somewhat makes sense. Somewhat. I almost feel like it's too quiet. I'm sure it'll pick up once all the action actually starts, though. I don't need to know the tutorial proceeds to die 20 times in the beginning. I know actually how to play the game. It's just I'm not very adept at it. That's the difference. I've played the game. I've gotten up to the fight with Monsoon, I think is his name. The guy who can split his body parts apart. Sir. 
<laughs> I provide a paycheck. Is this Black Panther? No, no. The white guy is the superhero, not the black guy. Hey, look, it's Chris Redfield. But I'm a ninja, not a samurai. Damn cows. There we go. No racism, not in my video games. Tis the jet stream. We're authorized to oh, okay, fuck it. I get the feeling this is not gonna be ad friendly. Yeah, open fire on the guy who just split a man in half, dodging all the bullets. I'm sure that'll work splendidly. Sponsored by you point like those guys in Smash. <laughs> Hello, John. We are going to die. It's <laughs> not all of us, just you guys. <laughs> Man, it's almost like you should have driven in, like, an armored car or something. Every time you see a match in any esports game and you see Team YP, it's those guys. <laughs> so, how did he throw off the t-shirt he was wearing with the jacket? And the pants. All I saw was the jacket. Should we try attacking him? No, no, he's being dramatic as shit. We can't attack him right now. <laughs> Badass inbound. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Watch out, guys. We've got a badass over here. That's a secret, Brian. He's never wearing pants. <laughs> uh Play not you kids games to know you don't ask how they remove their shirts. Alright, how do I run? Alright, and that's the Zanbatsu. Okay, thank you, Boris. Okay. Gotta go fast, gotta go faster, 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 bam, down, moving at speed of riding. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually... Okay, I was about to say, I shouldn't be able to pull off blade mode yet. Yeah, 
me. Cut Ray's tail being cut in the stream. I make no promises. I've gotten that achievement, though. I think he's more likely to do it in higher difficulties than he is on lower difficulty. That's fun. Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm sorry, was this car yours? My bad. Okay, good night. If you can't cut through the barricade, oh yeah, it's easy to do. It's just he never does the attack whenever I'm playing. Is everyone just cyborg now? You, the most badass song on the soundtrack ever. Also, cue all of my copyright claims. <laughs> Fuck guns, we need some swords. PMCs in the future use cyborgs. Alright. Yeah, I know very little about this world. I'm not a big, what you would call, Metal Gear fan. Mainly because I'm bad at them. I'm just good at... I'm just decent at this because it's a platinum game. You have to use the human rights BS when they're cyborgs. <laughs> That seems super unnecessary. I forget your name. Honestly, Jetstream Sam is like the only one I ever remember. <laughs> Those suits on Bald Guy F7 flashbacks. <laughs> Sundowner? Alright. with the Prime Minister. I want him dead. <laughs> I don't know why the pause there made me laugh. I want him dead. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same. All their names have relation to types of wins. Makes sense. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't worry now. I won't. I wonder who his voice actor is. Not while he's still useful. I'll just kill him after you destroy the Metal Gear Ray. So then he won't be useful. Okay. <laughs> By the way, did they ever explain how they have a Metal Gear Ray? Or two of them, technically? Doesn't Sam fight one in his DLC? Dun, 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 win, win. What? Gear? That's a laser beam. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say, Boris. Did I beat this game? No, I have not. Uh, actually, I think DW bought this game. Otherwise, I would have probably never played it. Like I said, not really what you'd call a Metal Gear aficionado. Go 
Come on, hit me! Hit me! That's not what I wanted to do. The MGS timeline is convoluted. <laughs> That's saying the least. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. Ow. Damn. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Come on. Come on, big boy. Whoops. He went over there. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for the legs as soon as I cut his tail off. Whoops. I don't want to be anywhere near those. Come here. Well, that's a laser. That's a laser beam. So... Can I cut your tail off now? Ow. Yes, not. Ah! The one time he swung his fucking tail at me. There we go. All right, tail's gone. Chino's had subs, I would sub. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not big enough for that yet. The lives on the line. <laughs> you used Ninja Run, right? Listen, I knew you were trying to sound cool, but it's called sprinting. I'm like, for this thing from a ninja. I don't know. Raiden's very. Well. Uh, he's kind of a ninja. He's just like every ninja in video games. He very rarely uses stealth. He's on the other side of that collapsed building. Go. Let's see, how do I Batman again, or do I learn that power later? I'm gonna assume I learn that power later. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I already know that. <laughs> Run over obstacles. Uh, Boris, I know exactly how to how to maneuver myself. Thank you. Another good comic uh, showing Snake and Raiden trying to cross a road full of enemies. <laughs> Snake goes full stealth. Let me guess, Raiden just fucking cuts all of them open. Thing good. Uh, speaking of which, Metal Gear Part 2. Call him something more like a samurai. Ow. Ow. Oh, that's right. It has, like, pressure-sensitive jumps. Alright, it's one of those. There we go. <laughs> now your head's naked. How does that feel? Ow. Oh, there's... Okay, I was like... <laughs> I was like, how was I getting health from this?
Kick, 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 kick. Finish that bastard off. Of nature. I love this song. This is like the greatest part of any video game ever. I'm sure that's what everyone has said, but my god, it's so true. Strong survive. Oh, that's a hole. <laughs> oh, I forgot I could actually fall down holes. Right, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. I always forget that you can actually die on this part by hitting anything, by hitting other things other than the laser. <laughs> there we go. The last part didn't happen. Doom, Doom OST is fucking good. I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Badasses don't look at explosions. I'm gonna have to check that out then. <sighs> Sorry, got a train to catch. Choo-choo. Necessary. <laughs> Sir, I don't think that's how you catch a train. <laughs> oh, All right, okay. I was for some reason thinking the stealth section that happens after riding is the upgrade was in this part. I don't know why. I got a lot of fights. Can I please get a lot more armor? <laughs> we'll get that after I lose an arm. <laughs> or, we'll get a lot more armor. It's just going to cost me an arm. And an eye. Hit the one with the gecko? Moo. Why did you need him in the first place? Stop. Not like the arm was his anyways. <laughs> That's fair. What about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Because war. Huh. Yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. War. Yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Remember, he only has his head that is still human. That sounds about right. I mean, especially after his makeover. Mind if I got in? Oh, you're saying. Give war a chance! I was expecting this to be an alien, not a sword. Oh, God. <laughs> not even his D was savable. Ah, that's okay. Now he can swap out sizes to please any woman. I mean, I assume he's still with Rose. I don't fucking know. She even brought up at all in this game? I don't know.
<laughs> Later, I've got to be evil somewhere else. <laughs> I look like a ninja. I'm like a kiss ninja OP. Have you ever seen Naruto? Why kidnap him if you're going to kill him? He was apparently using him as a shield, but... I mean, I don't know why he was killing everyone else with no problem. Why do you need a shield? <laughs> now to pretend fight for like a while. Ow, 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 my kidneys, my spleen. Ow, oh, my fake kidneys. <laughs> Still, my blade cuts through fucking everything. What does uh, same sword do again? It like vibrates at such a frequency it can cut through anything. to appease the SGWs. Yeah, that's right. This and Sam is full human. Oh! Huh. She feel pain. I mean, that's technically true. They don't technically feel pain because uh, Raiden has the entire thing about turning off his pain inhibitor. I don't know. Maybe it still takes effort to swing things. Now I have a cool scar like you. Also, is the audio good? Like, according to my bars, I'm way louder than the game is. That's my main thing I want to make sure of. Alright, that's cool. I love this line so much. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> it's the Phantom Lone scenario. Just because a person cannot feel pain doesn't mean it's not there. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, you went all slow mo robot for me, but I refresh and everything works out. Yeah, that's been a problem. Uh, uh, Mike was having that problem yesterday. He popped out the chat, or he popped out the, uh, the video from the, uh, web thing, and it's, uh, and it, uh, worked perfectly fine. Yeah, it's something on Twitch's end, because it's not in any of my recordings. This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. Tweak my pop filter just a little bit. There we go. Hey yo, da 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 whoa. Lucky devil. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? A functional sand blade and sheath. I remember DW bought a replica of one. A rocket launcher. <laughs> Greater than motherfucker. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why Sam is so deterred from that. He should be able to, like, block all those bullets and have no problem finishing off Raiden. But he doesn't. It totally looked like he was going to miss that. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, no. Let me jump again. We'll, we'll do this over. Forget you saw that first one. Down you go! 
like in Metal Slug. What do they? How do they say it in Metal Slug? I haven't played Metal Slug in a while. I might actually play that after I get tired of this. This is why everyone should pack a photon cannon. <laughs> Unabeam, 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 photon cannon. <laughs> Rocket launcher. Fucking flares. <sighs> Yay. Now it's raining. Is that the Blackbird? Man, the X-Men are going to be pissed when they find out we stole that. Didn't ride and get the Sombrero costume? Yes, I get it after the fight with Monsoon, I think. Or I think I have to buy it, but I think I unlocked the ability to do so after the monsoon fight. I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely to our HQ. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. <laughs> Sombrero, the hat of my people. Can you hear me, right? Doctor. Remember the two procedures. What is up with Doctor's name? It seems so unnecessary to, like, just slightly alter it. We get it, he's supposed to be, like, a doctor, but Doctor just sounds, I don't know, off. <laughs> Game's done, Alucard is here. <laughs> I forgot, that's right, he took he took one. All right. Oh, it's German? Okay. Excuse me. There's a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am doctor. to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. If we were capitalists had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Does anybody else find it a little creepy? He's got a shelf full of other people's arms. I'm just saying. I know he's like a researcher and all that, but it's still a little bit creepy. That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. The terrorist brain One answer joke, joke that I love in this game the is the mug joke. The rank and file. Hmm. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing any <laughs> You don't have a place for all your severed arms? Well, stuff they collect after all. I suppose, but. Arms are not the first thing I think of when it comes to collecting. Hey, a token black guy. Hmm? Oh, okay. Wait, did other people text me? believe you've met. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna die first. He may not I don't think. But keep an eye out just in. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Okay, so can someone please tell me why they couldn't fix his eye? They gave him like an entire new body and new limbs, but they couldn't fix his eye? It's kind of like how Slade can apparently. Like a uh, Deathstroke. Can super heal, but his eye didn't heal after he got shot by his wife. Oh, his head is still healing. I, I saw, I mean, they could wire a cyborg eye in. Or hell, just put like an implant over his eye. I mean, the head strap looks cool. 
But, I mean, let's get some, like, Garrus, like, holographic scope thing on top of, over his eye. Let's do that. Because <laughs> fuck you, that's why. Fuck this tree. Fuck this tree. Fuck that tree. That tree. That building. That one. That one. God, I love this game. <laughs> I like how this cat just keeps backflipping. Solid snake. If I had the Japanese version, I could have the sword and we'd actually have Solid Snake talking. <laughs> Raiden, remember CQC? I use a katana. Oh. <laughs> use the box. <laughs> I don't get to kill people that way then. We are the worst pair ever. <laughs> Game count in 2013, I think. Yeah. Ninja Kitty! Cutting Tree Simulator 2017. Ah, I missed that guy. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> Don't care, kill the man. Trolling is being mean to the chat. <laughs> Aren't swords still CQC? Yeah, it's not the same though. It's the it's yeah, it's not the same as like Snake's uh, style of CQC. Had your fill? <laughs> you this fine. I guess what? Guess what? Know. Fuck you. <laughs> the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Right? Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new... Was there a question mark on that mug? In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize. This is lives for money. Lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Come on, baby, don't fear the Reaper. Oh god, I still got an S rank, S rank, even though I didn't tear the other two in part. Zondatsu tutorial is now playable via VR mission. Pretty sure I've got a handle on how to do Zondatsu. Just saying. You need to head this reminded me that they got to the part that they're fighting Jack the Ripper in Apocrypha. Oh, nice. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your I walked a few feet from where you were just talking to me. <laughs> Good. Let's recap the route you will take. 
What's with the stuttering? That was weird. I guess it was just because it was trying to load the model and load the area as well. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. <laughs> Kill everyone. Got it. Finding someone that you forget his or her minutes after he, she. It's fun. <laughs> Um, let's see. I know there's more boxes around here, I think. Ah, yeah, here we go. Voila. Fuck chandeliers. Also, somehow fucked a box inside of the chandelier. Oh. Because there was a thing inside of it. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. There's also a box here I missed. I'm observant. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them. Or approach from behind. He's like an obsessed girlfriend. <laughs> Damn. Excellent rider. It's show on the doll where they touched you. <laughs> uh. Chandeliers touched me here when I was a child. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy oh, there we is located. Go. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR. Why does this look like detective uh, mode, Boris? It looks like we the took this literally from Batman from Arkham Asylum. Well, we made it better. Cut him so bad he disappeared. <laughs> Let's see if I can save this guy. I'm always bad at it. That didn't happen. <laughs> I suppose that's what augment mode is for. <laughs> so shit like that doesn't happen. <laughs> I can see the code. Damn it, it's B. Okay. I'm good at this. <laughs> <laughs> 